Hey guys, Jenny Sunshine here. It's uh, Saturday, about two o'clock, and uh, Johnny has decided to get back into the repipe game. Uh, a couple of my customers needed houses repiped. Uh, I can tell you that the prices are extremely high and people are backed up they're telling them well we can get there in a week or two weeks uh which is cool but uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna repipe a house on monday i've got my list of stuff i've got a little sheet that i made up when i was really banging on repipes uh it's just a basically a proposal sheet uh and you go in and i just fill it out you know the customer's name, the date, address, phone number, number of baths in the house, number of kitchens, laundry rooms, heaters, hose bibs, uh, and then all the information. Sometimes you put a water heater in, uh, but I'm gonna have these made up with copies. And uh, it's it's just an easy form to fill out. You can, this is basically your estimate. Uh, and then on the back of this, I have uh, all the stuff that I need to do a repipe and honestly I don't like to uh, on a job like that I don't like to feed off of my truck stock um, which I could do I could probably do have most of this stuff on my truck but then I'm scrambling you know I get to a job and I'm like oh fuck I used all of them I used all of them so it's really just easier uh, to pull this to go buy the stuff you need and uh, you may have some things left over but if you're gonna do more than one uh, you'll you, you'll end up using that stuff um, down here when you repipe a house you got to put a new an ice maker box with a uh, hammer arrestor in it you have to uh, change out the washing machine box so that it's got shut off valves with hammer arresters make sure you have a hammer arrestor on the dishwasher um so i'm psyched about doing this man i'm actually going to do the attic i'm teaming up with uh, a couple of the guys that used to work for me we're all master plumbers we all own our own businesses and uh it's a great opportunity i think so uh we're going to give this a shot on Monday. I'm hoping I can get this thing done in one day. Uh, I'm going to cut the service. First thing I do when I get there is cut that service going into the house. Uh, I'm going to try to make sure I... Ah! Pick my nose before I start the video. Son of a bitch. Uh, but I want to give... You, you'll, you'll be getting some tips, tricks, and tips and tech tips on how to repipe a house or at least how I do it I think I do a, a pretty nice job everything looks professional I uh, go out of my way to not have to cut holes in drywall uh, but sometimes you have to I'm not including any drywall repairs in my estimate I'm not getting involved with that uh, they're gonna have to find somebody usually like this is in a little community usually there's a handyman that does shit like that uh, but this one I don't think I'll have to cut any walls open uh, I went over there and looked at it today I was gonna go you know I went over there to see who she hired because I recommended a bunch of guys and uh, she said only one person and it wasn't even the one person uh, that I recommended actually gave her a price and he couldn't get to it till the end of next week. Um, so I said, you know what? I need to get back to work. I mean, I'm struggling a little bit financially, and it's because, you know, it takes a lot when you're only making a hundred bucks an hour. It takes a lot of service calls, man, for that shit to add up. You know, forty service calls is is fucking four thousand dollars. The forty service calls is a lot of fucking work. Uh, so time to time to get back to work maybe for Johnny full-time or maybe even uh, getting an employee 
uh, do some of these repipes or at least team up with uh, the, the other master plumbers that I know who run basically a one-man shop like I do. So I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to it. I always have, I think I have pretty good ideas on, on how to streamline things. Uh, make sure, the biggest thing is making sure you're, you're getting everything you need there to do the job. Uh, and plotting a course, run it through your whole, the whole job. You gotta, you gotta do that whole job in your mind uh, before you even step foot in the house. So I'm working on that and I'm gonna head to Home Depot right now and unfortunately my suppliers man a lot of shit you get a better deal at Home Depot man as simple as that <laughs> it's a very sad situation but there aren't too many times I go to a supply house and I don't feel like I'm getting fucking ripped off man uh, so Johnny's gotta do what he's gotta do just like they're doing what they have to do uh, I got to do what's best for Johnny. So I hope I didn't uh, alienate a whole bunch of my subscribers by the video I posted this morning about politics. Uh, some guy said, you must live in a different reality than me. And uh, uh, his handle is Redneck Ways or something like that. So my guess is he's probably right. But uh, there's... I, I commented back to him that there's two sides to every coin and all I'm doing is putting out my perspective man if you don't agree with it or you think I'm full of shit that's fine man you know we're all entitled to our opinion and we all you know make our own decisions when it comes to shit like this so I hope you didn't desert me and we can continue the dialogue. It's going to be a long fucking summer, man. It's going to be some, you know, we got the rest of July, August, September, and October of this fucking madness. And, uh, so let me get this stuff. I'm going to get my truck all cleaned up, get it loaded up, get my, make sure my drop cloths are clean. I use drop cloths with a rubber back on them. Uh, in case some water gets on there or you spill something uh gotta get a whole bunch of stuff together and like i said i like to keep it in a, a sing i used to make these uh repipe boxes for other companies out of plywood and i uh, had all the fittings in there for a re you just grab the box and you go and do a repipe all you had to do is make sure the box was stocked with it had everything in it uh i've got this whole list of stuff that I need and I'll read it off to you man some of you guys might be interested in this uh, three quarter inch 20 foot lengths pipe all CPVC three quarter inch 10 inch lengths half inch 20 foot lengths half inch 10 foot lengths three quarter 90s three quarter couplings three quarter T's three quarter by half bushings now I don't buy reduced bushings I buy three quarter inch bushings and then I put a bushing in it to bring it down to half inch it's a better I think it's a better product I think it's stronger uh, so when I repipe a house I change the uh, all the hoses so I need 20 inch supply hoses dishwasher hose ice maker hose uh, I need some CPVC glue I need a hammer arresters for the uh, dishwasher uh, half inch flat straps half inch Mickey Mouse straps three quarter inch straps three quarter Mickey Mouse straps uh, PRO 19 chrome those are the the uh, Shut off valves that you just glue on to see PVC uh, And I I put in my bid that I can use a combination of PEX and CPVC and I'll be honest I just like the PVC stuff the CPVC stub outs in the cabinets uh, this particular job is going to be done 100% in CPVC, uh, but it just makes it easier. So I, uh, I need some straight stops, not angle stops. Uh, PR, I don't know what they call what are, what they are. Maybe a 14 is a straight stop, but all chrome. The difference in price between chrome and rough brass is nothing. I have my access panels. 
I need half inch male adapters on uh, to from half inch brass to CPVC and that's because uh, on this particular house they have integral stops uh, on the valve the shower valves we're not changing these valves out and what I do is I uh, I get those integral stops out of the rough body screw a male adapter in there and just use a 90 gluing into that for my drop coming down for the shower valves uh, I need some armor flex three quarter and half inch I'm not armor flexing the whole job uh, need some short screws for my access panels I need discussions uh, electrical tape because I put on each end of the hot uh, pipes I put a uh, some electrical tape just to designate that it's uh, hot. Maybe I can buy some red tape over there at uh, Home Depot. Uh, but I need some shock bite ball valves, three quarter, some half inch silcocks for hose bibs, uh, and spray paint for any water pipes that are uh, going to be exposed to sunlight. So uh, I need a, a PVC washer box with hammer arresters and an ice maker box with hammer arresters. Uh, and I'm going to buy a couple of new spade bits. Uh, I think probably an inch and a quarter. I got to measure these three quarter inch Mickey Mouse uh, straps. Uh, the holes that I drill need to be big enough for me to put one of them inside the hole uh, because it limits the squeaking of the pipe uh, when you got that raceway going through. Uh, you want to put the Mickey Mouse strap in so that the, the part of the strap goes down into the hole and not pointing up and then screw it in because if the pipes uh, rubbing against that PVC uh, the framing when it heats up and expands you could get some ticking or squeaking and uh, I know that from experience I've been called out on jobs for you know the people call up and say hey every time I use my hot water it's ticking and making all kinds of noise and honestly that's because whoever put the shit in didn't do it right they didn't drill the right size holes they didn't strap it correctly and that's the end result so I've been down that road I know what to do and I have no issue uh, the good thing about this this uh, repipe is all the way across the house the trusses are exactly the same uh, so it's going to be a nice straight shot sometimes hear that two motorcycles racing scary man these kids are just killing themselves on these fucking crotch rockets anyways uh so it's going to be a nice straight shot and all i'm going to do is is put a nail in the top of one of them trusses run it all the way to the other side, square it up, snap a line, and I'm gonna put my my straps right on that line all the way across, keep things nice and straight, uh, and use like two foot air chambers up in the attic, plus all the hammer arresters down below, uh, and we should be fine, man. I'm actually very excited and looking forward to doing this. Uh, it's gonna be hot, but when I do a repipe, I use a, I've got these jumpsuits and I'll actually just wear the jumpsuit no clothes underneath it I tape the the wrists with duct tape I tape the ankles with duct tape to keep the fucking insulation from getting all over me and uh, wear some gloves up there I am going to try to use a body cam I'm going to use the strap on my chest so that I can take the camera with me uh, that's it, man. I'm I'm in. I'm really psyched about doing this, and I'm psyched about sharing the way I, you know, this is my own way of doing it. I'll show you how I strap these pipes coming out of the access panels, which makes for a very nice job. And uh, you can tell somebody, you know, Michael Jordan or anybody who's really good at what they do, they can tell somebody else. You can just watch them and see what they're doing, but not everybody can do it. That's why I'm not afraid to share my knowledge because just because I tell you how to do it, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it. Uh, so I never worried about that. Johnny's always going to eat. And uh, let's get it done, Jackson. I'm psyched, man. The fire still burns within me. <laughs>
crazy motherfucker. <laughs>